Hi, Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com, and today we're going to take a look at two wireless HDMI transmitter kits, the ASUS Ycast and the Brightview H Delight. Wireless HDMI technology allows you to connect any HDMI enabled device like a notebook or perhaps a game console to a receiving HDMI enabled device like a big screen television, all wirelessly up through 1080p high def resolutions. Wireless HDMI technology can allow you to turn that notebook into a home theater PC from the comfort of your couch all wirelessly. We'll show you these kits, tell you what they're made of, set them up and show you how they run. Okay, so we're looking at the ASUS Ycast here, but both of these devices are based on the second generation of Mimin RFIC baseband chipset. This is the AMN 2000 and 3000 series of receiver and transmitter chipsets that are based on WHDI standard wireless HDMI standard technology that's capable of transmitting video signals at 720p, 1080i, and 1080p resolutions at frame rates of up to 60 frames per second. And they can do this and peacefully coexist with 802 and wireless devices in your home as well as 5 gig cordless phones etc without interfering and they can transmit the signal with less than one milliseconds of latency so pretty impressive you're not going to notice any lag from the transmitting device to the receiving device or your TV and uh, they're also HDCP 2.0 copy protection uh, capable and support that standard as well, so no issues with Blu-ray, etc. Here we're looking at the uh, Ycast, the ASUS Ycast, and on the front edge of the receiver, there's actually a power indicator and a sync indicator light. Top of the receiver here is some venting. On the back side of the receiver is an HDMI port. Power plug for an AC adapter that comes with the device and a mini USB port. This mini USB port is really just for servicing the device. And uh, here's a quick look at the transmitter. This would plug into your notebook. On the back is an HDMI port. Again, that mini USB port. That actually allows you to power the device from the notebook's USB port. And an AC adapter port if you uh, like as well. Um, you've also got power and sync indicator lights here and some venting. It's a small device, fits in the palm of your hand. and pretty convenient. Perhaps not as convenient as an integrated solution, which Intel does have Wi-Dye technology. This is a look at the uh, ASUS Powerbrick. But uh, Intel's Wi-Dye technology does not support, um, currently right now, over 720p resolutions. Uh, 1080p we hear is coming. You've, you also get uh, some USB cabling here, the micro USB or mini USB uh, with the standard USB pigtail, HDMI cables, and uh, a handy little uh, microfiber pouch. Let's take a look at the Brightview H Delight next. Okay, and here's a quick look at the Brightview H Delight. It's a little bit larger in terms of the receiving unit, and we'll hold up the Ycast, the ASUS Ycast by comparison. So a little bit larger receiver, and on the front of the receiver is a power button and a channel button. You can actually switch channels in case you are getting some sort of radio interference. Uh, you've got some venting here. You can actually mount this to a wall. They do give you some uh, drywall screws to go with it. Back side of it, you've got a power plug, HDMI port, and that mini USB port. Okay, and this is the transmitter that plugs into your notebook or other HDMI enabled device. You've got a power button here, which frankly I think is more of just a light. It didn't actually do a whole lot for us. Um, you've got the HDMI port and the mini USB port for power on the device as well. And of course, Brightview gives you standard HDMI cabling, the little short HDMI cable for your notebook and a longer HDMI cable for the receiving side and the little power brick AC adapter. Let's show you quickly how to set up on the notebook side and uh, we'll look at that next. Now setup of these devices really couldn't get any easier. You do need an HDMI port on your notebook or perhaps this is a game console like an Xbox 360. You will need an HDMI port. You hook up this small HDMI cable to, in this case, the ASUS Ycast and we'll plug the HDMI cable into our notebook. We then hook up the micro USB port with the small micro USB end of the cable there and plug in the USB cable into our notebook. And this is just to power the device. And then you're done. It's a driverless solution. There aren't any drivers to load. Windows 7 just recognizes the device and fires it up. On the receiver end of the equation, 
it's pretty straightforward. We won't even show you that. It's HDMI cable, which you would uh, hook up to your TV and just plug that in there. Hook this end to your TV, power the device with the AC adapter, plug that into the wall and you're good to go. Now the receiver will be powered and hooked up to your TV. The transmitter will automatically send that signal over the HDMI port. So first, let's take a look at the ASUS Ycast in action. We've got it set up here in a home theater entertainment center sort of configuration. We have the transmitter plugged into the HDMI port and USB port for power of this gaming notebook. This has got an onboard NVIDIA GeForce GTX 280M mobile graphics chip, so quite a bit of horsepower under the hood. And again, an HDMI enabled output, so plugged into the transmitter. On the receive side, we've got a 50 inch Panasonic plasma television and of course the ASUS Ycast receiving unit down in the lower right hand corner of the shot on top of the cable box there. So let's go ahead and fire up a full uh, 1080p high definition quick time movie trailer. We've got the display set up in spanning mode, the desktop on the TV display, full 1920 by 1080 resolution. So let's go ahead and fire up this movie trailer and we'll show you how things perform as we drag it over to the desktop on the big screen. As you can see, we're actually splitting the movie right now. We've got half of it on the, the notebook and half of it on the TV. And as you can see, no perceptible lag, dropped frames whatsoever. Actually, the movie's quite synchronized across the two desktop areas. Now we've got it dragged over to the TV desktop and we'll maximize it. And as you can see, full high definition 1080p H.264 encoded QuickTime content here, playing back smoothly with excellent image quality and uh, impressive to say the least, all wirelessly from the notebook's HDMI output to the TV. Let's look at the H-Delight next. And here we are with the Brightview H-Delight. We've connected it up in the exact same configuration with the exact same gaming notebook. We are transmitting over the notebook's HDMI connector through the H-Delight's wireless transmitter to the receiving unit down there on top of the cable box. And again, that full 1080p resolution desktop in spanning mode between the notebook and the TV. Let's go ahead and fire up that movie trailer. Get my cursor back to the player. There we go. And we'll do that same test. Let's split the movie. Right about there. Now you can see both images are playing half the movie on the notebook and half on the, the desktop and the TV. Let's slide over here full screen. And identical performance. Uh, these two wireless HDMI or WHDI transmitter receiver kits are based on the same Amimin chipset, so identical performance here. Uh, excellent image quality, good frame rate, no perceptible loss or lag whatsoever for the Brightview H Delight as well. Let's take a look at some high definition Blu-ray content next. And here we are again with the Brightview H Delight, and this time we've connected to an Intel Core i5 based notebook with integrated Intel graphics, as well as a built-in Blu-ray player. We've fired up our trusty Iron Man Blu-ray disc, so high definition Blu-ray digital media content here. And we've chosen the TV as our primary desktop with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, so full 1080p resolution here. And we'll go ahead and fire up the Blu-ray movie for you. Down here on the notebook, you'll see there's a little bit of switching going on between the outputs for Blu-ray and it does take a second for things to synchronize, but we don't believe this is really a function of the wireless HDMI technology, more a function of the notebook catching up with its outputs. So we're playing the movie now on the notebook and let's drag it over to the desktop. It'll take a second <clears throat> for the movie player and the Blu-ray drive to catch up. Quick flash to the TV and now the Blu-ray movie is playing in high definition on our TV. Let's go ahead and maximize that. 
go full screen. We'll turn up the volume for you. And again, so full high definition Blu-ray content being streamed from our notebook wirelessly to the TV on the Brightview H Delight. We would offer that the performance again with the ASUS Ycast unit in this application was absolutely identical. And uh, we might add very satisfying, a real nice Blu-ray experience. Then you can sit on your couch with your notebook, pop in a Blu-ray and stream it to your TV wirelessly. And finally, here we are again with the ASUS Ycast. We've reconnected it back up to our gaming notebook, again with that NVIDIA GeForce GTX 280M mobile graphics chip, driving out over HDMI wirelessly to our TV at a resolution of 1920 by 1080, fitting for this Halloween holiday season. We've fired up a little bit of Left 4 Dead 2. We've got Forex anti-aliasing turned on in the game engine. And as you can see, image quality is excellent. There is no perceptible lag, no dropped frames, and everything is buttery smooth here on the big screen, wirelessly from our gaming notebook to our 50-inch plasma television. And I gotta tell you, it's a whole lot of fun killing zombies in high def. And certainly Left 4 Dead 2, big fun factor there. We'll also offer that the Brightview H Delight performed identical in this application. So both units are absolutely up to the task of high def big screen gaming with wireless HDMI technology. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. This has been a quick take look at the ASUS Ycast wireless HDMI transmitter kit and the Brightview H Delight wireless HDMI transmitter kit. Thanks for stopping by and have a good one. Happy Halloween.